New this morning, the largest Whole Foods on the East Coast is now open here in our area. I'm trying to get a good look at this in the video. This happened this morning, and this is no ordinary grocery store. This is part of a larger plan to change its neighborhood and cut down on congestion. Transportation reporter Adam Tuss is live in Tyson's to explain. Hey, Adam. Hey, Pat, Erica, near and dear to your heart, of course, but I know what you guys are thinking. What does a grocery store have to do with traffic? More on that in just a second. Here's the store. It opened at 8 o'clock this morning, and it has been pretty much packed all day here as people are getting ready for the grocery store and for the whole experience. Now, why does it matter? Well, the hope is that places like this get you to move into developments like this, which pretty much didn't exist here in Tyson's just a year or two ago, and that could help cut down on traffic. Grocery store that Good morning. feels like a whole lot more. It's like I've been here since, for 20 years, and basically um, all we've had is the mall. And in this commuting community where the car has been king for so long, a major shift to get people to actually live here, to raise families here. Um, I think it's great. I think it's uh, what this neighborhood really could uh, use some more activity. And that's just it. Tyson's, or what you know of it, is changing fast. The entire place is really a project, a grand plan by political leaders years ago to capture tens of thousands of commuters by first running metro through here and then building around it. The entire goal to free up traffic choked streets and get people to stay here. The dream of living within close proximity of your, your job or place of work and then also having all the surrounding amenities that you would need, whether it be a grocery store, a gym, will all be within central access to you as a resident. That's why bread, milk, groceries, even a full bar complete with pinball becomes critical. Well, look, if this vision really is going to come together, you have to give people a sense of community, a sense of place so that they do want to live here. That's why this store is so important today. Really a milestone to kick off the redevelopment of Tyson's. Will it work? Residents like TJ Fitzpatrick say they need a bit more proof. That's the debate, whether people actually are going to, what, what will happen with the traffic. But I know there's going to be a lot of demand. I got here at about 7.37, looked behind me. There was already 150 people ahead of me. For today, though, the next step in an evolving area with plans for something much bigger. Back in our live as you look at the pumpkins, the spices, everything else out here. Hey, guys, this place has its own brew pub and game room upstairs, and it just opened. So you know where to find me in about five minutes. <laughs> and I'm also told they're having a Nats watch party tonight. Of and if you wear Nats here, oh. you get happy hour all day. Hey. Of course they are. So come on down and check the place out and go Nats. I, Let's finish right. game seven at the Whole Foods. Why not? I can't believe that people were lined up like Black Friday for this thing. 737, yeah. the guy said, and there were 150 people in front of him. That's crazy. Hungry for breakfast. There was a DJ, there was a DJ, there was bubble balloons. It was a whole thing, an experience. All right, my friend, grab right. me a kombucha on your way back and we'll see you over here. And I'll take a sandwich. You got it. <laughs>